Presets and filters are a great way to stylize your photos within the effects application. The difference between presets and filters is that presets are a stack of effects that you can adjust individually, whereas a filter is a single effect that you can customize. However, you can add multiple filters to create your desired effect. All of these categories that you see here represent different folders full of filters. When you click one of these, it reveals the various filters inside. You'll notice that we get a thumbnail preview of each filter so we get an idea of what that's going to look like before we click on it. You can change the size of these thumbnails by taking your cursor and hovering it over in between the panes. And when you get that vertical bar with two arrows going in the opposite direction, you can click and drag that to the desired size. You can also change the number of columns that show up within these thumbnails by going to View, Browser Mode, and you can click on one, two, or three column views. If you were to click on a one column view, you get that single column and those thumbnails are then viewed larger. When you single click on the thumbnail, it applies that filter. We can then go over to the right pane for our controls for that filter. The opacity slider is the strength of the effect. So when it's at zero, none of the effect is showing. When we slide that all the way up, that's at full strength. We have further presets within this filter. And as we click on the drop down menu here and roll over each one of these, we can get an idea of what those look like. We also have the manual controls of brightness, haze, and saturation. Each filter category is going to have its own set of controls and unique features to that filter category. Here we can control the brightness, haze, and saturation, as well as the color that we're using here for this desaturated look. Again, as I scroll over these and roll over, I can get a preview of what those are going to look like. I can then customize the brightness of the effect, things like haze, and even saturation of the colors within the photo. There's also the ability to stack multiple filters. So if I want to add an additional filter, I can simply click on the Add Filter button here. And then I can choose from the categories here which one I would like to do. So I can choose Tone Enhancer. And you'll also notice on the left hand side of the screen, the category has changed to Tone Enhancer. If you'd like an even larger view of the thumbnails, you can click this arrow with the grid and it shows you all the filters within that category. You can click on one of these and it will add this to your stack. So if we come over to the right side, we can see we have this tone enhancer that we just added. And below, we also have the antique layer that we added before. If you want to access that antique layer again, you can single click and it will reopen those options for you. And by checking this circle, it will turn the layer on and off. So you can see our tone enhancer is turned off, but our antique is turned back on. If we want to go back to the tone enhancer, we single click and it opens up the controls for the tone enhancer layer. The overall settings opacity slider allows you to change the opacity or strength for all of the effects within the stack. So this is the tone enhancer and both the antique. So as I increase this, it's increasing the strength of both of those effects. And then each layer will have its own opacity slider for that specific effect and that strength. To compare the latest effects to your original photo, click on the preview button and it will show your original photo and then click it again to show the preview. You can also see in a split screen by clicking on the A, your before and after. You can turn this back off by clicking on that A button one more time. Once you have the desired results, go ahead and click apply to save.